In this problem, we're going to solve this differential equation. So this is a nonlinear differential equation, and you can tell by the y here that's being squared. This is actually what's called a Bernoulli differential equation because it has the following form. So dy dx plus p of x times y equals f of x times y to the n. So whenever you have a differential equation that looks like this, uh, if n is not equal to 0 and n is not equal to 1, we say it's Bernoulli. If n is 0, uh, this y goes away and it's linear. If n is 1, you can subtract this over and again it's linear. So in this case, it is Bernoulli. So step one, when solving a Bernoulli differential equation, is to write it in this form, which it already is, so success. The next step is to identify n. So n here in this problem is simply 2. So we have n equal to 2. And then we use this formula here. u is equal to y to the 1 minus n. Okay, very, very important formula. So now we plug in the n. So this is y to the 1 minus 2. And this is y to the negative 1. So we have that u is equal to y to the negative 1. Okay, so now we solve for y. So basically here we have u equals 1 over y. And then we can multiply both sides by y. So we get y u equals 1. Then divide by u. So you get y equals 1 over u. Seems like a lot of work, but you know you can do it in less steps. I'm just showing a lot of extra steps. Bring it up and you get here. Okay, so quick recap because we've done a lot. So the first thing to notice is it's Bernoulli. How do you know that? Well, whenever you have like y to a power, chances are it's Bernoulli. As long as it fits this form, it's going to be a Bernoulli. Then you identify n and you use this super important formula. You plug in n, and then you solve for y. Okay, now we're going to find dy dx. So the next step is to find dy dx. Okay, so we're taking the derivative here of both sides. So we have dy dx equals, now let's think about this. u is equal to y to the negative 1. It's right here. Okay. So y is a function of x, but because u is equal to you know, y to the negative 1, u is also a function of x, and we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So we're going to use the chain rule. You bring down the negative 1, you subtract 1 from the exponent, and then times the derivative of the inside function, so du dx. Okay, so chain rule. So you're always going to get a du dx here always, every single time. Okay, at this point, we're ready to make the substitution. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to write this again down here so it's easier to see. y prime plus xy equals xy squared. And basically, we're going to substitute into this equation, the original equation. Let me use a different color here. Let's try yellow. Okay, so y prime okay, is going to be right here. That's dy dx. So I'm going to write it here, negative u to the negative 2 du dx plus x. And then y, uh, we said y was, it's right here, boom, there it is, good stuff. It's u to the negative 1. So that goes here, equals, then we have x, and then again y is u to the negative 1, so this is u to the negative 1 squared, right? Very, very delicate. Uh, let's just double check that. So we replaced y prime with dy dx, right? Same thing. So that's here. Looks good. Then we have x u, but um, which is, <laughs> sorry, x y, and y is u to the negative 1. Looks okay. I was like, uh-oh. And then x, and then y squared, that's u to the negative 1. So we plugged in this into both of these. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, this is really bothering me here, so let's go ahead and at least clean this up. Uh, this is equal to x u to the negative 2, properties of exponents. 
All right, so the way I like to do the next step is I like to write down what I'm going to do and then do it. It just helps me think about it a little bit better. So our goal is to make this a one, right? This needs to go away. So let's write down what we need to multiply this by in order to make that happen. So we need to multiply by. So to get rid of the negative, we have to multiply by a negative. To get rid of this u, we need to multiply by u squared. And the reason we use a u squared is because when you multiply these, you end up adding the exponents, and so you get u to the 0, which is 1. So I'm going to put this in parentheses. And now we're going to mentally do the multiplication. So you don't have to write this down, but for me, it's easier to, like, to, to do it in my head now. So this times this. Boom, we get du dx, really nice and clean. And then this times this, so we're going to get minus x. So u squared times u to the negative 1, we add the exponents, so we just get u. And this is equal to, okay, this is going to be equal to, um, right here, we're just going to get uh, minus x, right, because um, these u's will cancel, right, u squared times u to the negative 2. You get u to the 0, so it goes away, and you're just left with the minus sign. So now, essentially, what we have is a linear equation in, in x, right, and where we have to find u. So uh, recall that whenever you have a linear equation, say we had dy dx plus p of x, y equals, say, g of x, then the first step is to write it in this form and then find the integrating factor, which is mu of x equal to e to the integral of p of x dx. So this is this is what you do first when solving a linear differential equation. So this method of solving a Bernoulli is basically a transformation method, right? We're making a, a substitution and we're transforming our original Bernoulli differential equation to a linear differential equation. It's pretty, pretty powerful stuff if you think about it. All right, so now we can compute mu of x. Let me go to a fun color, let's go to orange. So mu of x, right, it's still x, x is the variable there, and it's going to be e to the integral of, so here in the formula we have a y, but here the unknown function is u, it's not y. So it's negative x dx, just like that. And so this will be equal to, okay, this is equal to uh, e, use the power rule, negative x squared over 2, just add 1 and divide don't worry about the constant of integration. It is not necessary at all, okay? And, you know, if this seems like a lot, you know, once you, you know, you've watched this video and then you do one on your own, you got it. You just have to be able to do one on your own. You know, once you know the steps and you can do it, you're, you're invincible. You become a Bernoulli master. So now that we have this, we're going to multiply this de by this, okay? So it's going to be e to the negative x squared over 2 du dx, okay, minus x e to the negative x squared over 2 times u equals minus x e to the negative x squared over 2. Really, really nice. And here is where the magic happens. So by the way, all I've done is I just basically took this mu and multiplied each term by this. So once you do this, this is where it gets really amazing. All of this, okay, magically becomes the following. d dx of, and it's always going to be your unknown function, which in this case is u, times your integrating factor. Okay, it's always going to be that. And this is equal to whatever is here. So when people first learn linear differential equations, um, they have a really hard time with this because they don't understand what happened. Um, it's a trick, right? So whenever you multiply by mu of x, um, when you follow this process, this will always happen, okay? That, that's the point of doing this trick. Um, in fact, in order to come up with this trick, you kind of like have to force it. You create this function called mu and you force this condition to happen. It's really, it's really wild. Um, let's check that this works. I'm going to come here to the side and just double check our work. So let's use the product rule to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of the first is du dx times the second, I'm going to do this quickly, plus the first, which is u, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x 
So here we write this down, and then we use the chain rule to take the derivative of the inside. And yeah, it looks good enough. So I did that really, really quickly. That's an optional step. I did that really fast. Um, trying to keep the video short, but just use the product rule on this and, and you should get you should get this. It's an easy way to check your answer. Uh, again, the derivative of the first is du dx times the second plus the first times the derivative of this. The derivative of e is just e. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, so it'll just be negative x. So everything looks okay. So now what we do is we have to get rid of this ddx. So you just integrate both sides. So integrate both sides. When you integrate a derivative, it goes away. So you just get this, e to the negative x squared over 2. And then here we do have to integrate this. Okay, So that's going to take a little bit of work, but not much. dx. So to integrate this, uh, we will have to make a substitution. So we're going to let this be our variable. I was going to say u, but I don't want to use u again. Let's use w. So w is equal to negative x squared over 2. And that would mean that dw is equal to negative 2x over 2 dx. So dw is equal to negative x dx. So that means that that worked out perfectly. That's what that means. Because look, we have negative x dx. That's our dw. And we just have e to the w dw. Totally rigged. Like, wow. Wow, what are the chances that that uh, would happen? Um, so now um, we can integrate this. So this is e to the w. And let's go ahead and write our constant plus c. So this is e to the negative x squared over 2 plus c. So we have, let's come over here, we have u, e to the negative x squared over 2, equals e to the negative x squared over 2, plus c. Let's divide everything by this e, so we get u equals 1 plus c over e to the negative x squared over 2. But u was something special. Right, u, let's go way back up here to however long this video has been, 10 minutes ago, I don't know. So u is equal to y to the negative 1. So now we basically replace it with 1 over y, okay? And that's equal to 1 plus. I'm going to bring this upstairs and make it positive. It just looks better. There we go. Much, much prettier. Multiply by y. So we get 1 plus c e to the x squared over 2 times y, and then just divide by this piece. That gives us y equals 1 over 1 plus c e to the x squared over 2. I'm going to write that a little bit bigger so you can see it's 1 over 1 plus c e to the x squared over 2, and that should be um, the correct answer. So really intense, uh, and again, don't let the Bernoullis intimidate you. Um, they're really not that bad. I love Bernoulli's. You know, once you do one on your own, you kind of have it. It's just, it's a big learning curve. You know, it takes a bit of effort. So the most important thing is that you know it's a Bernoulli, and you'll know that by the y to a power and if it fits this form. Then you call, you identify your n, find u, solve for y, compute du dx. You're all, dy dx, you're always going to get a du dx. Okay, always. Now just plug it in to the um, original DE, we ended up here, and then figure out what you're going to multiply, multiply by in order to make this a 1. And the way I do it is I write down what I'm going to multiply by, then multiply. Then it ends up being linear. If it doesn't, you did it wrong. So like if you get a 3 here, uh, if you get like a 3 here, game over, it's wrong, right? It needs to be a 1. Uh, then you use uh, the formula for a linear DE, right? You solve it like you would a linear DE. So you find your integrating factor. It's just whatever's there. Um, you multiply everything by your integrating factor. And then this magically turns into the derivative of a product, okay? Every time uh, to get rid of this, you integrate both sides. We did have to do a u substitution here on the right, uh, but it worked out in a wonderful way, right? I mean, it was just totally rigged. And yeah, we did it. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.